Welcome to the TearSet tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the database workshop in TearSet to create raster and vector layers from tabular data. The database workshop is a relational database manager linking vector definition files to database tables. It can be used to create, edit, and query database files, but for this video, we will focus on using the database workshop to create descriptive layers. When you import a vector file with an associated attribute table from a shape file into Tearset, three files will be created. A vector file of feature IDs, a vector documentation file, and a vector link file which links the vector layer to the database in Database Workshop. Typically, you'll want to produce layers which show useful information about each vector feature rather than just the feature ID. To do this, Start by opening your vector link file in Database Workshop. I'm looking at a database with information about the population and area of each town in Massachusetts. Next, you must establish an image link between the database and the associated vector layer. Click the Establish Display Link button. Make sure the correct vector link file is specified and select the associated vector file. The link field name should be the database field containing the feature IDs. In this case, the field is town ID. To create a new layer based on an attribute in the database, highlight a cell in the desired field, then click either the Create Idrisi Raster Image or Create Idrisi Vector File icon. If you choose to create a raster layer, you'll need to choose an output name, a background value, and then specify the raster reference parameters. Here's the raster layer of town areas created using Database Workshop. If you choose to create a vector layer, you'll need to specify an output name, a field name, and whether the file should have numeric values or text labels. Here's an example of a numeric value output depicting town populations in 1990. I'll now add a text label output of the town names, also created using Database Workshop, on top of these polygon features. There are many other useful features of the Database Workshop that were not discussed in this video. For more information, check out the Tearset tutorial, which can be accessed by going to Help and selecting Tearset Tutorial. Tutorial exercises 1-9 through 1-11 will offer more information about how to use the database workshop.